What is up guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video on the channel. Remember, if you want to see more GTA, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to turn on the post notifications if you don't want to miss another video from me in the future. Today we're going to be talking about the Summer 2021 DLC, what it's based around, and what we could be possibly looking toward in the future as it's getting closer to that release date and getting closer to that time that they usually release a really big update and because they usually release that really big update we know what the summer 2021 DLC is going to be based around and that is the car community you know we had if you guys remember a while back I can't remember the exact date but we had the Lowriders Customs Classics DLC where Benny's original motor works was introduced and they came out with a lot of interesting cars. Some of them were lowriders. Some of them were, you know, classic vehicles like the Slam Van Custom, the Buccaneer Custom, uh, the Manana Custom, the Voodoo Custom. You know, we had classic cars like that come in. But if you guys remember, also later on they introduced a few other cars as well, like the Nero. Uh, it had a custom variant the Sultan it had a custom variant and I do believe the LRG RH8 had a custom variant well the Nero and the Sultan RS which is the Benny's custom variant are labeled as supercars so technically at that point this DLC wasn't just lowriders customs and classics this was kind of a dabble into like the tuner-esque side of things because you could do all kinds of modifications to like the Sultan or the Elergy Retro to kind of give it that tuner vibe. So I think they were kind of going for that. But if you guys remember, that's the last time we've had anything to do with any type of car DLC that we've had a really, really big impact on. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of today's video because that's why you guys are here. That's what you want to know, and that's what you're waiting on. So, meat and potatoes portion. Here we go. Basically, Rockstar has said they are introducing a underground car meet to the area, which is going to put a whole new spin on the car community. So, what does this mean? Does this mean they're going to make us buy properties? Do we have to have memberships or anything of that nature? Is it going to work like the CEOs or motorcycle clubs where you can have a certain number of people with you is it gonna work like a property where you can invite certain people to it they can come in and show off their cars and things like that because if you guys do know we have a car meet esque style spot already and that is the casino parking garage you can pull your car into the parking garage and you can leave it there, you still have access to your remote functions, your doors, your engine, your headlights, all that stuff. People can get in your car if you have it unlocked, they can rev the engine, they can you know, cut your headlights on and off, change your radio station. The only thing they can't do is move your car because the only person that can take the car out of the garage at that point would be you. So we do have a car meet-esque style spot already, but a lot, not a lot of people use it because the lighting isn't all that great and you know it's kind of not that great for car meets but I think it was kind of Rockstar's stab at what's coming next as far as the underground car meet you know whole thing and it was kind of them taking a stab at it to see what they could do let me know what your thoughts and comments are below on that whole ordeal and if you guys also want to let me know ahead of time as well do you think they're going to give us most of the 2021 summer DLC content or they're going to do like they did with the casino and the Kyo heist and give us drip feed content every week and if so how long do you think they're going to do it after the DLC comes out if you did go on to enjoy this video make sure to leave it a like right and hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you are new and don't want to miss another GTA video from me in the future and with that out of the way we'll see you next time